Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you what's new in the 2.0 version of the URC tools. This update brings improvements and new features to the entire lineup of URC audio interfaces. All URC interfaces offer 32-bit 192 kHz conversion as well as onboard DSP effects on all models. The URC series offers something for everyone, from beat producers on the go to engineers that want to perform multi-track recordings. One of the really exciting features that I want to show you with this update is the updated versions of the Guitar Amp Classics plugins, both the DSP and the native versions. Now, all the models have a very handy noise gate control, which is extremely useful when you want to get rid of buzz or noise when you're not playing. Not only this will give you a cleaner sound, especially for guitars with single coil pickups, which can be a little bit noisy, but it can also make your sound tighter, especially when chugging with high gain sounds. We also have brand new cabinet simulations, which give you a much wider palette of sounds when crafting your guitar tones. And you can also change the cabinet mic position from center to edge. Now, when you place any of the Guitar Amp Classic plugins into a stereo channel, you have the option of mono or stereo processing too. Now, let me show you some examples with the new Guitar Amp Classics so you can hear the sounds you can achieve with them. So I'm going to start with a crunch model and I want to show you the difference that the gate does to the sound. As you can hear, now I'm not playing, but you will be able to hear the hiss from my guitar. And mind you, this is a very quiet guitar because it has humbucker pickups. So now let's try and turn the gate on. So as you can hear, it's dead quiet now. So let's play with and without the gate. And as you can hear, this is a really well done gate. So it really doesn't cut off the sound of your guitar. It just cuts down the noise, which is perfect. Now let's try some more speaker cabinets. And now let's try the different mic positions. Now let's go off axis in the edge. So as you can hear, we can achieve a very wide palette of sounds just by using the cabinets and also the mic positions. Now let's try the lead model and here you will be able to tell that the gate makes a massive difference. So as you can hear, when I don't play, the guitar is completely silent. Let's try the drive model now. And now let's try the clean model and for this one I'm also going to add a touch of Revex plate.
now let's try the YC model. I really like this for clean tones. It's a very warm sounding cabinet. Now if you happen to use Cubase, the new update has some cool improvements to make the hardware and software integration even tighter. Now you can link channels straight into your inspector. This way two channels can be linked and function as one stereo channel. This means that whatever setting you perform on one channel will be mirrored on the second channel. And on top of that, now you can control the URC input settings straight from your mix console window, making recording and tracking really fluid with all the controls that you need right there in the mixer, such as filters, DSP effects for monitoring and recording, send effects for adding comfort reverb for your singers for example, and the face reverse switch. And as you can see, when I link these two channels together with a link switch, all the parameters are mirrored. So if I add a DSP effect on one channel, then the other channel will mirror the same settings. The same goes for the reverb sends and the reverb types. So this is a really handy feature and it makes the integration with Cubase so much tighter. All these are available regardless of your input and output configuration in the control room. So there you go, these are just a few changes and improvements on the new URC Tools version 2.0. The new URC Tools are now available to download for free, so check the link below to get them now. Thanks so much for watching and have fun.